So the plan for people watching, uh, basically we are going to do Carthage versus Rome, but there's going to be a period of peace at the very start that I'm also not allowed to ally with Etruria or the Samnites or Lucania, just to make it fair, because if I immediately deck on Rome, then I, I have won, and that wouldn't be fair. So is there going to be a period of peace? How long do you think it's going to take you to get on my level. Um, I'm honestly not sure on that one. I, I would say 15 years max. 15 years? All right, so four, 465 is when hostilities may commence. Right. I may regret saying 15 years. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. All right, all good? Lovely stuff. So I'll leave it paused for a moment while we sort stuff. What else do I have? 50 points left. That's not really much enough to do anything. Ooh, siege ability sounds nice. All right. Have you done much playing as Rome yet? Um, I've done three campaigns each, doing a different opening moves to see which one was better. Right. Uh, so I'll see how it goes. The, the more I was playing the room, the more I was thinking I was so dumb in challenging you. <laughs> Apparently people can barely hear you. Um, how am I going to fix that? I'll chuck my audio sounds down. Is he very quiet compared to me as well? Very quiet compared to me. Great. All right, start talking again so people can hear you again. Maybe I just got a quiet voice. But you're British. How the fuck is that going to happen? <laughs> All right. I've done some changes. Hopefully that's going to help. But we'll uh, we'll see. And what else do I want to do? I want I need trade, but I can't do that just yet. Small bit better. All right. I'll try and lower my own volume just a smudge, and then we'll see if uh, if we're on the same level. Okay. All right, let me know when you're ready. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. All right, we'll check it on speed three. See if we can uh, see if we can keep going on that. Oh, I immediately jumped by two hundred points. That's just great. <laughs> I start the game at like seven hundred and something. Immediately nine hundred and nineteen. Great stuff. So, um, victory conditions. Uh, he needs to siege Carthago. I need to siege Rome. Um, first person who does that wins, basically. Nice, easy victory condition then. Yeah. Can't make it too complicated, otherwise you'll fail. <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna rise to this. Oh you can't you can't have it like that. You need to rise to it. <laughs> if you don't rise to it, it's no fun. So, you've got no elephants. I think that gives me a, a distinct advantage. Did it give Hannibal a distinct advantage? In the first, um, in the first battle that they had, was it Trasimene? They the elephants did quite well there, but then there was only one left. So, 
It was a temporary distinct advantage. We'll just put it that way. So how am I going to make you even louder? Because I've got Discord at max volume, I've got you at max volume. Um, have you got your microphone set to max volume? Yes, I have. That was my issue that I had very recently. <laughs> Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. what else can I do? Again, I, I, I could put myself down, but then that doesn't really put you up. Let me just quickly listen to you a second. Talk a bit. Yeah. Let me just quickly listen to you a second. Talk a bit. Yeah. Let me I'm, just quickly totally listen to you a second. Right now. Talk a bit. Totally didn't go into a battle for getting my mind. Totally doing to you right right now. I suppose that's gonna have to do for now. I don't know any other way to get you even louder. Uh, can I make you a priority speaker, perhaps? No idea. Great that I have to do all of this. We probably should have done this before we started, but whatever. It's not like I could have really checked because of it being a part of like, I can hear you just fine, but it's the stream. Yeah. Ah, well, I'm sure it's it's going to be fine-ish. Have you got like your Discord up on Yeah, 100%. Right. right, I think I've got everyone in position. So, what's your plan, then? I'm not going to reveal my plans for you. Oh, you should, though. Ship, surplus trade. Thank you, Iggy. Don't help him. He doesn't need it. <laughs> I mean, come on. That needs to be default. That needs to be set. Yes, it does. Very much agree with that one. <laughs> I don't think... This country is played by a human. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be trading with me. I get benefits from it. You get benefits from it. Yeah, but if I'm asking for it, that means I want the benefits that it gives me. And I don't think... Well, you shouldn't be okay with that. It depends if my benefits outweigh your benefits or not. Why would I ever give you something that benefits you more than me? I'm going to say my generals are absolute garbage. Hopefully that changes by the time we fight. <laughs> um, I think mine are, mine, mine are okay, I think. Could definitely do with some uh, more powerful generals. Yeah, I could do with a Scipio Africanus right now. I could do with a Hannibal. I don't have any Hannibals. Well, I probably have a Hannibal, but it's not Hannibal Barca. Actually, I, I would love for you to have a Hannibal because you would win all the battles but wouldn't be able to siege Rome. So. Well, I wouldn't use him to siege Rome. I'd use him to siege everywhere else. Or he'd, he'd win the battles and then uh, I'd get someone else to siege Rome. Where are my Barkids? I can't see any Barkids. Oh, there it is. There's one, there, I've got uh, Himilco Barca. Urum Milky Barka and Masha Barka. Mm, ooh, manpower and manpower recovery speed. That sounds quite nice. I'll take some of that. And everyone wants to trade with me, so I'm I'm gonna get a lot of money very quickly, I think. When do I get my tech? I need a hundred. I'm quite far away from that. Bollocks. Hmm. 
we shall see. Uh, Dariak, we've been going... Actually, you can tell that now, can't you? I think you can tell that without me. We'll see, we'll see. But not very long. Also, hi. How you doing? Alright. Now I'm just thinking, do I go and invade, like, the rest of Sicily to maybe secure that? Or do I, like decide that other things are a bit more important I, I was expecting you to go straight into Sicily and Spirit I meant on. I meant Sardinia not Sicily Sicily is going to happen regardless Who are you at war with now? Oh, you're Samnium, Apulia, Messapia, Lucania, and Taulandia. This war went better in my test game. <laughs> uh, they have 52,000 men like sat next to me. It always does. I, I, I did two games where I went up and took a Churia and went into the north. I was like, that's quite manpower intensive. So I went south and I was like, this is actually, I get a lot more for a lot less manpower. And it's not going that way. Alright, I'm gaining money. Good. Oh, come on, Senate. Don't give me bloody tyranny. Accept the war. Oh, well, looks like tyranny it is. Oh, wow, that is... Oh, no, that's his allies. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, we're doing okay. Just boost the, boost the support of your faction senate. Well, that's that's an extra five tyranny anyway. Like, to declare the war without senate approval is five tyranny. To de declare the war... Uh, sorry, to boost your faction in the senate is five tyranny. So, you're not really gaining anything. Unless it's like I can I can siege like sorry I can declare multiple wars uh, because of the Senate being happy like but in that case yeah sure so how many men have you lost in your war so far I wish I could tell that. Yeah, you really don't want to know. <laughs> well, I can tell you that I have lost zero because it doesn't count attrition. I'd also love to be able to check, like, what's your best general and all that kind of stuff. This game really needs a ledger. Oh, yeah. So they were doing a stream today um, about the backlash, let's say, of what's been uh, of the release. And uh, they spoke about the ledger just briefly, and they said, if I remember rightly, that um, they're moving away from ledgers in games, and they're going more towards showing you uh, the information you need directly. Uh, so, like, when you're right-clicking on a country, you can see exactly what they have, etc. Yeah, I don't like that at all. No, I think there are better, like, better ways to do it. I don't mind seeing what you can see here but I like what the ledger does in the EU4 where it really breaks it down into like your income you can see exactly income where they get their income from and then you can see casualties where they got the casualties from to attrition and all that yeah I agree Yeah, the ledger is definitely one of the big omissions that I really 
want to see Unamist. Yeah. It's going to be strange doing... Observing multiplayers and not being able to just check at the ledger. Yeah. Very much agree with that one. Money wise, I'm doing okay. Manpower wise, could be better. Fleet passes by. What the fuck is that? Nothing to see, Imperial Citizen. Move along. Exactly. There's nothing to see here. Yeah, declaring this early war against Siculi is also good because it's getting all of my vassal's troops into Sicily um, before anything else happens. Ooh, gain 100 oratory power. Uh, yeah. I'll take that. That is going to come in incredibly handily. So how much money have you made? Oh, you make only 142? Shocking. Yeah, the, the fact that I... Oh yeah, I can, I can check your income just by hovering over your treasury. Oh. I can oh. see your taxes, your commerce, how much you pay for your army, how much you pay for your navy, wages. You know, ledger stuff. Just not where it's supposed to be. No, oh, and there's no option to limit that, which I really don't like for multiplayer. I don't want people seeing exactly my income. That means I can't trick them into giving me more money and pretend that I'm... Yeah. 10 tyranny in 454 is, is fine, right? Oh, yeah, I mean... You're used to being tyrannical, so... Well, I am the tyrant. I love how the the game was like, oh, you're going to totally lose this battle. And they attack me with uh, low morale. It's like, mm. yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I have once or twice gone and declared a war and forgotten that I'd put my uh, troops onto low payment. And I go into a battle and then like, just as it gets locked, I'm like, oh shit. I need to put their payment back up so they have more multiple times that has happened yes there should be an automatic feature for that like in uh like in eu4 yeah of course eu4 yeah with ports oh and he's attacking me oh no this this one this one i'm gonna accept because he's retreating into my army so it makes sense that he would uh attack me stupidly but even so even so See where he retreats to now, though. It's this great idea of you know doing a pretty nice fleet and uh, stopping you getting onto the peninsula, and then I looked at your ship count and I'm thinking maybe I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, yeah, for some reason the AI Carthage likes to drastically downsize the size of its navy very, very early into the game. I have no idea why. It's just something they tend to do. Like, the AI starts with 62 boats, right? That's how many boats I've got right now. But they like to go down to uh, 20 for no discernible reason. It would have been wise of me to check the starting ships. Yeah, because you've you've seen the twenty. You haven't seen no. the sixty. No, I did not. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. No, that's probably a bad idea. 
Uh, appoint dictator. Yes. I'm now a dictator with morale of armies plus five. I, I don't like how the dictatorship works for Rome. It feels like it's a generic dictatorship and not a Roman dictatorship. Right. Just like in, you had Fabian was a dictator when Hannibal was going around the countryside. Like he wasn't a dictator for life; he was a dictator until the war was over. Right. 